took me by surprise. I wasn't forewarned about the possibility of being paralyzed. So when I woke up and I couldn't move anything from the neck down, it was, it was quite a shock. My medical journey has been a long one. I had a brain tumor removed in 2011 and I was initially a quadriplegic when I first woke up. I worked really hard at trying to get better, but I had a few setbacks. It took six months to um, shrug my shoulders. I was in the hospital for over a year. I really wanted to push myself to go home. I finally moved back to Hawaii in uh, the summer of 2015. Being a single mom, I needed to have my parents and my family around me to support. And I heard about the Croc Center and I had visited a couple times and I didn't have any more physical therapy appointments. So I just knew that I needed to find a trainer that would work out with me and put me in the, the right direction of what to do. I saw her and I met her and I just, I was just blown away. And I think for the first 15 minutes of watching Julie work the first time, I sort of was just like, you know, mouth open and like, who is this girl? And like, this is amazing. And then it just, it just hit me and I was like, we're gonna do all the things, Julie. And we have, we've just dominated. People think it's more like a spinal cord injury. Or they assume that it's something more physical and really it's more cognitive and it stems from this surgery and this tumor that she had years ago. Her brain has to work in overtime. So every limb, she has to tell it what to do. So for us, for me to just stand up, I don't even have to really think about it. I can just stand up. And for Julie, that's different. Everything I do with Julie is how can I supplement her daily life when she's out of the gym and when she's doing things that able body people do all the time and that we take for granted. How can I help enhance Julie's life with what we do here? Maddie has been amazing. She is my biggest cheerleader and she doesn't see me as disabled. As a trainer, your most rewarding relationships, the ones that are going to have the best outcomes are when you really click with your client. Julie and I just click on a deeper level. She's more than just my client and I'm more than just her trainer. She's my friend. She's my sister in Christ. I'm constantly blown away by her and her abilities and I just feel very blessed and very honored that she trusts me enough to kind of help her on this journey. Well, one of the things I love about the Croc, it's not commercialized like other gyms. It's truly a community. Everyone here, I think, is just really invested in the mission that the Croc has. And there are people that, I don't think Julie is even aware of the impact that she has here at the Croc. Because Julie comes in for her session, she does her thing, she blows everybody's mind, and then she goes on about her day, right? Whereas I stay, and then people come up to me and they're like, she's getting so much stronger, she's getting so much better, this is amazing. You know, they follow her on social media, they wanna see what she's doing and how far she's come. Because it truly is just inspiring. And the Croc being here to help aid our community and lift our community up through Christ is just really, it's, it's doing it, and it's getting to be a part of that mission, and it's getting to see it make a difference. It's just really amazing and humbling to get to be a very small piece of, of that story. I'm just a tiny piece of Julie's team, but I really love my spot <laughs> on her team. I really do. The Croc Center has been an amazing place. I didn't expect the kindness and generosity of the scholarship program. That's been the biggest thing that's helped me in my journey. I couldn't have continued training with Mandy without the scholarship. Julie is so rooted in Jesus, and I think, I think that's the coolest thing. I think the ultimate goal as Christians is that people who are non-believers see Christ in us, and that is Julie. That is Julie. And it's just a really cool thing to get to be a part of. My inspiration comes from my daughter. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't get up every day and push hard. And um, my strength comes not from me, but from the Lord. When I was at my darkest times, the phrase, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, I just bear down and I, I focus on just that phrase, and that gets me through. Although my future is uncertain, I know that God has a 
purpose and a plan for me and he will be there for me through everything.